Do you know that chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease can lead to gastroesophageal cancer? Hello, I'm Mr. Lim Shangi, General and Upper Gastrointestinal Surgeon. Chronic GERD can occur with or without hiatus hernia. In hiatus hernia, the stomach is actually migrated upwards in the lower part of your chest and causing symptomatic reflux. In a chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease, reflux of acid or non-acid content to the lower end of the esophagus can cause various symptoms. Symptoms such as heartburn, burping, or having chest discomfort when they're lying down flat on the bed is a typical symptom of gastroesophageal reflux disease. Endoscopy or gastroscopy assessments is commonly advised for patients who have gastroesophageal reflux disease. However, in some group of patients where the endoscopy findings is not specific, they will require to undergo 24 hours pH studies and esophagus manometry. A 24 hours pH study is uh, inserting a device that uh, can be wired or wireless into your lower end of esophagus. So this information will allow us to analyze whether the symptoms that you're having like heartburns, chest pain or burping does it have any correlation with the reflux content? On the other hand, esophagus manometry is also a small device tube inserted through your nose into your esophagus to assess your swallowing mechanism. The second risk factor for gastroesophageal cancer is the presence of precancerous condition called Barrett's esophagus. Early endoscopy assessment and recognition of this condition can prevent cancer progression to gastroesophageal cancer. Endoscopic ablation or resection of this precancerous condition can prevent full blown development of cancer. Excessive smoking and drinking of alcohol is also associated with gastroesophageal cancer. The combinations of these hazardous chemicals will induce cancer changes in the esophagus and stomach lining. How do we treat gastroesophageal reflux disease? First step is lifestyle modifications and change of diet habit. Number one, avoiding oily food such as gravy meals or grilled food with excessive oil. Number two, minimize coffee intake. Number three, avoiding excessive carbonated drinks. Number four, moderate intake of food amount. Number five, you must chew or put properly before we swallow, right? Remember, our teeth is in the mouth. There's no teeth in our stomach, right? I understand that some of your culture, example, in Hokkien, we always be told by our parents that, you know, but on the other hand, you chew properly for proper digestion is a good uh, dietary habit. Medical therapy such as oral medications to suppress the acid production in our stomach is a common first-line treatment for patients with gastroesophageal reflux disease. However, oral medication may not eliminate the symptoms of reflux caused by non-acid content. In some patients with chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease with hiatus hernia, surgical repair of hiatus hernia through a keyhole procedure or anti-reflux procedure can be helpful to reduce the symptoms of non-acid and acid reflux.
like this education video, follow me to the next episode on obesity.